So the first thing you want to do is pull back this rubber strip here that protects the outermost track. And then, because I'm doing this one-handed, have a screwdriver or pick and go ahead and lift this inner track up and you'll see all the dirt in there. So here I'm cleaning my tracks in my travel trailer window and I have these little weep, inner weep holes here that from from the inside you can't see you can't see in here okay so I'm gonna take a little pipe cleaner that I typically use here to help weep water away really fast but what I'm gonna do is use one of these to make sure these weep, inner weep holes are not clogged. So, oh, there's junk there. Holy cow, and there's a leaf block in that weep hole. So this is why I could potentially get water inside the camper, because once this inner track fills up, there's only one more little track here that does not have weep holes, that's the last barrier before it starts going inside. As you can see, <laughs> you know, I do need to order new curtains, or valances I guess, curtains for my Oliver. And I just need to call them and order them and they'll send me the new white ones. Uh, the strings have start, started to break on mine. I just haven't done it quite yet. Well, I'll keep cleaning and I'll get this window all squared away. I've scrubbed um, this this inner rubber piece where the window goes right over. And the one thing I haven't done yet is I need to try to get really under this main brace. Um, and I guess I'll have to use pipe cleaners just to make sure some of that dirt's out. Pick a nice day to do this. Um, right now it's beautiful. It just rained. It might be a little easier to start if the windows were all dry. That way maybe you can take a vacuum and vacuum some of the dirt out and stuff. But it just rained, so I'm just going to clean it and enjoy the morning. This, these take about, oh, I don't know, 15 minutes, I guess, to do. Once you get the hang of it, you can go a little quicker maybe. All right. <clears throat> I scrubbed under the track with the little inner weep holes. And I'm going to take a little bottle of water and start flushing out the two inner the two outer tracks and just going slowly <laughs> you see the inside of my bed there I haven't made that yet or cleaned it up after camping but I'm gonna slowly pour water in these tracks and let them let them drain out and make sure everything gets flushed out now this water here is going all the way back here so you see this this here is being drained and these are being drained here so that's a good sign a lot of dirt will come out of these too so you do this until the dirt stops coming now the tracks the inner tracks on the other side I'll have to, I'll have to close this window and clean clean from the inside make sure there's no dirt in there and I'll do the same thing I'll, I'll run some water with a, a little bottle of water and until everything's clean there you go these aren't too bad when I first got the trailer used they were quite gross they had never been done and now here I just got a ton of dirt under out from under that inner track so there's still a lot in there so I'm gonna keep going so this is what I'm gonna try to do this time I'm tall I can usually do this without a step stool or anything I'm over 6'2 so I can just sit there and clean windows but what I'm going to do is have a little stool and a little ladder for my brush and my water. But this time I thought maybe I can use my hot water tank flush tool. And I have, I have two on off switches, one for the hose and one for the flush wand itself. And so this might allow me to control the water slowly enough and flush out the track a little faster. Now, this could go very wrong, and if I turn on the water too fast, water will 
overflow the tracks and go inside the camper. We don't want that. Let's see what happens here. So I'm gonna try to flush the outer one first, might as well. It'll, some of the water will go inside, that's okay. And I have it very low. Oh man, I think this is gonna work great. I can even turn it on and wash the outside, turn it on a little faster and then, then put it low again. And what I need to make sure though, is it's not overflowing on the inside of the window. So, I'm inside the Oliver now, and I took down this old grody window shade, and I'm just gonna order new ones. They're, last time I checked, they're about $600 for the whole set. And the great thing about Oliver is, since some of the original campers, they haven't changed the design, so you can just order these now. They don't make them, they have somebody make them for them, and the new ones are pure white, so they'll go really well with the inside of the Oliver. And they, the new ones will just reattach to the, the side of the Oliver, and they'll just hang here. So that would be great. I might, after I clean the windows, I might just go in and order new ones, and it'll get me motivated. Um, I don't see any leak in here, because my windows aren't too bad. I clean them about once a year. But I do have a towel here for any possible runoff of water. And the great thing about the Oliver is everything's fiberglass inside and out. So if I spill a little water, that's okay. I just make sure you don't spill enough that you're dropping onto any electronics and stuff under, under the bed. So this is what I'm gonna do and just finish cleaning this up a little bit and so this is great you can you can clean these from inside or outside whatever kind of suits your fancy so the one thing i have not tried is to pull this rubber sleeve out from under here i'm not confident i could get it back in because this this rubber piece goes all the way down to about here so this window rides along that track. So this is the one area that probably will not get cleaned out too well, but we'll do our best. I don't know if anyone has ever tried pulling this all the way out to make sure it's clean and lubricated and stuff so the window slides really super well. But only the bottom side of this track will really get dirty. The, the sides of it won't get really dirty at all. You can just wipe it down, take a little dust off. So it's just down here. You do this once a year, at least once a year, depending on your environment. And it shouldn't be too much of a job. Just pick a nice day to do it. Well here I'm gonna take a long pipe cleaner and run it through the channels from the outside and I'll be able to go much farther down on both sides. So I'll do this both directions, probably get junk to move. I think already some stuff's coming out of that weep hole and we'll keep doing that until no more junk comes out. And here I was able to get the pipe cleaner all the way through from one weep hole all the way through the center area. No junk came through so that's good. So it looks fairly clean now. So naturally it starts raining out. So. I just came indoors. I used a paper towel just to wipe off some of the, the muck that's on the inner rubber strip. And next I'll carefully make sure that all the dirt is cleaned up off of this and make sure I can get the inner and outer tracks as clean as possible using multiple tools, pipe cleaners, paper towels, whatever. That's about it. No water has spilled inside because I've been pretty careful about pouring water in here slowly. So that's it. Good time to clean with the rain coming, I guess. Now this is probably the third time I've cleaned these on this camper. And even now I'm learning new things. I have noticed that this is a single piece of rubber that's formed, but the edges are not tubes as much as they are a curled piece of rubber. So there's a lot of junk that was under here. And before I finished cleaning, I wanted to show 
how much junk can be under there. So make sure you get a toothbrush in there and clean all that out because it's going to help all if anything you leave behind is going to help grow more uh, mold, mildew, muck, um, all that. So clean all that out. And uh, now since I've never done this level of detail before, I'm sure you can go a couple of years, but you can see you can you can in inside you can see all the stuck pollen and stuff from the trees from every spring. Well, I almost put back the outer rubber strip before checking it and it needs to be cleaned a lot too. So don't forget to clean that outer rubber strip and that should be the end of it. The track's really clean now. Much cleaner. All you can see is me. The track's much better now and uh, all the junk stopped coming out. I put, I put the hot water flush tube right here kept it really slow so it doesn't overflow inside and all that junk came out these weep holes so it seemed to work really good and I cleaned real good inside um, the inner track and now with the bottle brushes wire brushes bottle brushes in the weep holes it's pulling out the excess water that will not come out easily without a, a wicking device, whether it's string or parachute cord or whatever. So you can see even these little <clears throat> bottle brushes work really well. So it's all nice and clean. These will dry up as long as it doesn't rain again. And it'll keep the mildew down under those rubber stripping. That's about it. Okay. The passenger side is all cleaned up, but I did want to mention when you put this rubber stripping back in, it's very pliable, but when you put it back in, make sure it's in the track completely and none of these little, uh, oh, they, they have little outlets on them on the rubber. Just make sure it's all seated perfectly well, okay? And that'll make sure your window, that'll make sure your window closes perfectly. And that's what you want. Make sure it's all clean and seated well, seated well into the track. If I can just keep the camera on where I want to show you. That's about it. Oh, pretty cardinal outside. <laughs> Now the one thing I want to remind people is with these types of RV windows and maybe many others is you will technically have water inside your camper when it's really raining out hard even with a clean track because the outer track does come inside to the RV and it should if the if everything is clean, the water's still going to lay underneath this track here, under this rubber piece. So keeping all this perfectly clean is vital to letting the water weep through this rubber track and weep down outside through the outer holes. Now this third inner track here, now that's our last ditch effort to keep water from coming inside. It has no weep holes. It's just a, a, a final solution of a track. Now what I would like to see is maybe this inner piece of metal here. It doesn't appear to be any higher than this piece here, but I sure would like to see that at least a sixteenth of an inch higher. You know, I'd like to see this inner, this innermost rail a little bit higher than this rail here. I don't know. I thought it might help, especially if you're not level or it seems like to me the the, the, the base of these windows are maybe slanted a little bit inwards. Now that's not Oliver's fault. They don't make windows. Um, it's just the manufacturer of these windows. Now I will need new windows soon as you can see. 
Oliver puts in double pane windows and this is an older trailer and so uh, the seals of the windows are starting to fail so eventually I'll get fog in there and so it will be time to replace these soon and from what I've seen online it's not really a big deal it just takes a little time and uh, maybe a partner and uh, carefully change out the windows and reseal them that's about it well if you made it this far in the video give me a thumbs up if you liked it either way if you want to see more content on Oliver maintenance let me know uh, what you'd like to see and I'll see if I can make it work thanks more videos to come I hope bye